Hello and welcome back to another end of another video. Today we're going to go over Tropical Storm Carl, which currently has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 998 millibars, and is moving southeast at 7 miles per hour towards Mexico. Now this storm is projected to remain a tropical storm as it takes a turn towards the southwest into Mexico uh, in between the Yucatan and uh, the Mexico City area right in this I guess you can consider that an isthmus so let's look at our key messages for this storm heavy rainfall associated with Carl could produce instances of flash flooding with mudslides in areas of higher terrain across portions of Veracruz Tabasco Chiapas and Oaxaca states in Mexico Tropical storm conditions are expected to begin within a portion of the warning error area in southern Mexico by late Friday. And let's take a look at those probabilities of tropical storm force winds. Uh, the highest there on land is 30 to 40% at the moment. So here's the storm on satellite imagery. You can see that most of the moisture is on that southeastern side with the center of rotation right in here. So here is our hurricane models showing about the same thing. GEFS showing a little bit of a sharper turn and could be paralleling the coast for a little bit and that could produce more heavier rainfall for a more prolonged period of time. The GEPS is showing this storm kind of stalling out as soon as it gets over land, uh, which will of course draw more Gulf moisture into Mexico which uh, could lead to more mudslides and more flash flooding. And we have the European model, which has the storm entering back into the Pacific. Now, the backstory of the storm is that this was a trough created by Julia, which eventually went into the Pacific. So we have an Atlantic storm going into a Pacific storm, Creating a Atlantic storm that leads into a Pacific storm possibly it's that's just crazy And our intensity guidance just staying in tropical storm and going to decrease as soon as it gets on land So here's the HWRF hurricane model and you can see that Carl's pretty small, but it's going to be moving very slowly So as the storm is making its approach towards landfall here, this is 8 p.m. on Friday Eastern time and by 11 p.m. it has made landfall, but those onshore rainfall amounts are going to be very high. Especially if this storm does stall out for a few hours, producing some of those heavier rainfall amounts on the coastline there. Then the HWRF does have this storm kind of getting whisked away. So, I'm actually going to switch here first to the HWRF key variant which does have our total accumulated precipitation and over the mainland Mexico coast you could see areas see that six to ten inches of rainfall which will be very significant uh, in this storm's sense now in terms of wind speeds at landfall itself uh, we will be seeing winds sustained here right around tropical depression tropical storm force so really this storm is going to weaken significantly before landfall in terms of wind speeds. Uh, you can see that right now it is in that weakening process, which is a good thing for the coastline of Mexico, just having to deal with one threat, which is that flash flooding and mudslide threats, that rainfall threat overall, instead of rain and wind creating that double-edged sword but that is all the information i have on this storm just a quick system in the gulf really didn't uh, produce much except for just churning up the gulf of mexico uh over it sat for a day and a half just in the middle of the gulf of mexico so uh this storm is going to be heading towards mexico here going to make landfall uh, at some point friday night into saturday morning eastern time but that's all the information I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.